SA Crypto, South Africa's largest blockchain community and news outlet. Welcome to this edition of the SA Crypto video podcast. And uh, here we are in Cape Town for the 2019 Blockchain Africa Conference. And it's a real privilege to have with me Minister Beverly Schaefer, who is the Minister of Economic Opportunities in the Western Cape government. Minister Beverly, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for the time. Now, you gave a, a fantastic opening keynote here at Blockchain Africa. My first question is, how did you get to speak at a blockchain conference because in South Africa it's not common to have members of government and members of parliament speaking at such conferences at such innovative uh, technology uh, co conversations. So just over 100 days ago when I was appointed as the new Minister of Economic Opportunities the first thing I said to the public was we need to prepare the Western Cape government for the new economy and if we talk about a new economy and jobs that relate to the new economy then this is the platform that we need to be engaging with because everything that centers around what we call the new jobs is centered around the fourth industrial revolution. If we're talking about technologies that we're still busy you know, looking into, discovering, finding out what it's about, blockchain sits front and center to that. So it would be most inopportune for me not to have been here today for me to hear the experts to show us how we can find solutions to daily government problems that we experience on a day-to-day -day basis. Now you talk a lot about the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, how is the rest of the Western Cape government approaching innovation and tech innovation uh, on, a, on a holistic uh, uh, viewpoint? So we've, for the last couple of years, focused on innovation. We've been recently crowned the uh, tech hub of Africa, um, and we're seen by the rest of the world as a tech platform for many startups. And I think it centers around the people that have been here that have been a great success. The Vinnie Lingham's of the world, the Silicon Capes, uh, that have started as an organization to start government and get government ready for innovation. It centers around um, what we've responded to from the public and from business that have said that in order for us to create more jobs, we need to allow innovation to work. Now, this is a bit of a, um, a contrast because governed by its very nature is not innovative, but it really is our relationship that has continued with big business and with business out there and with the tech hubs of the world to actually understand that we have to be here. We have to listen uh, to what um, government is, what the stakeholders are saying. So that's how our relationship has been con uh, continuing, you know, over time. So innovation is important for us. Uh, I also sometimes wonder whether it's just the mountain or whether it's the general energy of Cape Town that has attracted so many people to the city for innovation. Maybe it is our diversity and the very fact that we are so different. So I do think there's an X factor that you can't measure, but the fact is that we as a government have capitalized on that energy and innovative space to further enhance innovation in the Western Cape. And as Minister of Economic Opportunities, what are some of the opportunities that you see specifically in the blockchain space that, that uh, you uh, in government would like to see uh, invested in more? Well, terrible red tape things that really hamper most people's time. It's, it's standing in a queue to do your license vehicle registration. It's um, your TV license. If you want more people to pay TV licenses, maybe you should make it easier for them. Um, I, I think in terms of government payment systems to avoid any form of corruption, because we know that the public trusts governments that they, where they feel that they are transparent and ethical, and good governance is a basis of economic growth. So uh, blockchain could come front and center to our housing lists to our tenders. Um, I also see it in a more controversial space such as medicinal cannabis. Uh, we as the Western Cape government are looking at how can we make sure that hemp growing for small scale farmers can happen in this province. Well then how do we secure that to make sure that national government and the police feel safe about the Western Cape farmers growing hemp or growing medicinal cannabis. This is an opportunity where blockchain can actually lead the way. And. Uh, Following on from that, how can startups access 
uh, uh, both favor from government and possibly even funding in this space? So we have great um, um, funding opportunities such as the funding fair that we host every year um, in the Western Cape. I think what business isn't doing enough is is the great word used uh, called agitation. So government uh, business used to agitate government to actually push us into the way that we believe they believe that we should be pushed. Um, we need to have a lot more collaboration around this. Uh, we need them to determine and to tell us because after all, government is the catalyst for an enabling environment. If business feels that we're not moving quickly, then they need to help us move quickly. They need to bring some of those solutions to our problems to the front face of government. I mean, this government in the Western Cape, I believe, is the most accessible and the most flat-structured government that you can find. I mean, Premier Helen Ziller will often say, well, call me. Um, I, I doubt if it happens across the rest of South Africa, but it certainly is one that we stand for. I mean, my office as a ministry sits on Long Street, right in front where the public can walk in at any time. Government must be accessible going forward in order to embrace new technology with the private sector. And any final words uh, to the SA crypto community? Uh, we have a number of developers, we have a number of entrepreneurs in the space who subscribe to uh, our service. And what would you say to people in the blockchain industry here in South Africa uh, in wrapping up? So I think it's very important that our legal, our, our our crypto, pe- our, our crypto fraternity, if I want to say, and, and a wonderful word that Premier Zilla said was our blockheads. <laughs> in, our opening, our blockheads in our opening lines, yes. Our blockheads it really should, should engage with us. Um, we are open to, to speaking. Bring us the solutions to the basic socioeconomic needs that we struggle with. How are we going to make sure that selling a house can be tracked and, and, and secured in a way? So bring us these solutions. We're open to hearing from you. Invite us to platforms. Let's build the relationship of trust with startups and with government. We're not the person or the entity on the side. We really are part of the solution. We can together in a whole of society and a whole of government approach find the solutions that we can solve that relate to South Africa's problems. Well, Minister Beverly Schaefer, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for your progressive approach to the industry and uh, to innovative technology. Thank you very much. We wish you all the best in your position and uh, uh, for, I guess, the upcoming elections as well. Good luck to the Western Cape government as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. There we go. That wraps up this episode of the SA Crypto Video Podcast with Minister Beverly Schaefer, who is uh, the Minister of Economic Opportunities in the Western Cape. SA Crypto, South Africa's largest blockchain community and news outlet.